Hello everybody, this is The Horror Sickness and welcome to my first update in a long time. I do apologise uh, to anybody that does follow my channel and follows my videos. I've just been really busy. Um, if you have been following you'll know <coughs> that I mentioned I finally got a new job. Um, and it's just really eating into my time. I've not had any time uh, to do any videos or anything really. Uh, just been really, really busy. Uh, getting into to work and back into the swing of things and trying to earn a bit of money so I just really got my head down over the last few weeks and it's left no time for anything else it, unfortunately YouTube as well the last lot of videos I did were for Tattoo Doorman 7 Days of Child of Fears challenge uh, before that I was doing my collection overview now I do definitely intend on finishing that or at least carrying it on and, and getting to a finish in the future I know it was going to take a long time but um, I was really enjoying doing them, I was getting some really good feedback, some nice discussions going with a lot of great people on here so I definitely intend on doing that uh, when I get around to it, I'm not entirely sure, I'm not going to promise anything just yet but hopefully pretty soon I'll get around to, to doing the next part and, and carry that on but today is just going to be an update, I'm going to try and keep it as short as I can I've got quite a few, not a massive amount but I've got quite a few films to show uh, just some things I've picked up over the last week or two um, also a couple of other little things that I want to do, the first thing um, and probably the most important is something I haven't done for a little while um, and I've got a bit of an intro for it as well actually so let's Yeah, so I'm going to do my first shout out for a while. Um, it's possibly even my first real shout out on this channel. Um, I'll have to go back, I can't remember if I've done another one. I know I've mentioned people as I went along, but not really a shout out. But this one I've really wanted to do for a while. This is a fairly new YouTuber, I think he's got about 12 videos up on his channel. And he is a horror collector uh, in particular. He's also into his rock music metal. Um, and he's also an author. Um, I haven't really got a chance to talk to him about his books and what kind of stuff he writes um, but I'm assuming it's, it's kind of fiction stuff um, and probably into the more extreme if you see his videos um, you'll know that he's really into his extreme horror um, and he has a really good collection of that stuff and a really good knowledge and obviously uh, horror in general as well I know that he also got involved in Tattoo Dormans Challenge and I'm going to get his name wrong I'm going to butcher this but it's Jason Wachenik Wuchinich, Wuchinich, I'm going to write it here and also obviously his link's going to be below um, as I say he's got about 12 videos up at the moment but really good quality videos he's got a really good start to his, his channel and I'm just looking actually he's only on 32 subscribers which is crazy um, how he's only on 32 I don't know so please go and show him some love show him some support um, not just for the sake of it literally because he does some really great videos go check him out that's Jason um, I forgot to mention he also calls himself Wookie apparently. Um, but yeah, just a, a really nice guy. Um, really cool channel. Looks like he's got a really cool collection. And hopefully, if we get more people uh, subscribing and supporting him, he'll show more of it and do more videos. And it's, it's going to be good for all of us. So yeah, definitely go and check him out. Uh, next thing, real quick, um, and you've seen this intro before, but I'm going to show it again. So yeah, the, the quit smoking, I still haven't had a cigarette, um, 138th day today, um, which is crazy thinking back to the first day I decided to stop, um, going pretty good, I must admit there's been a few times where it's been a little bit rough, but <clears throat> in the whole um, it's going alright, obviously money wise it, it's been a massive help, um, thinking back now the amount of money I spent, I mean I used to smoke 20 a day, um, six, seven pound a packet, you know, seven days a week, so you can imagine it, it eats into the money, um, and it was money that we didn't have, and looking back it was crazy, um, but yeah, really proud, uh, feeling a lot better, I did go through a bit of a period about four or five weeks ago when my chest felt rubbish and I was coughing stuff up and all the rest of it, but got through that and yeah, it's going really well, so 
Anyway, that's enough blabbering. I'm going to get into the update. I think I've got about 10 films to show. So as I say, not a massive amount, but a few little interesting bits in there. And just wanted to kind of get an update done before I put them on the shelf and, and whatever. So yeah, let's just head straight into it. Um, first film up, this is one I picked up. But um, I've been going around the local charity shops, actually. I don't know why. I've just got into the urge of nipping out once a week. And uh, there's about five or six charity shops in the local area that I nip in. Not a massive amount in there generally, but I've picked up a couple of little bits in there. Um, first one is What Lies Beneath. Um, I remember seeing this a while ago, and from what I can remember, it's a decent enough film. And I picked it up for 50 pence, um, and it's in decent enough condition. So, yeah, 50p. Can't go wrong. Next up, um, I was really happy with this one actually. I actually already own this, but this is. Tale of Two Sisters, and this is the two disc uh, from Tartan Asia Extreme. Got this again, 50 pence, uh, which is really cool. I, as I say, I had this, but I only had the one disc, um, so just a straight replacement, and it had everything in there. The discs are in perfect condition. It looks like the person watched it once, and I pick it up for 50p, so can't really beat that. Uh, next up, a little bit different is this one. Um, I actually won this in an online competition. Um, and yeah, I got it in the post. Um, with, I don't know within the last week. I've actually watched it. Uh, I'm not going to go into it so much, but I also won a T-shirt with it. And I asked them for a particular size, and they sent me a medium. Now I am not a medium person, um, so I can't wear the T-shirt. Um, and my wife's actually got it on at the moment. So anyway, the film. Um, it's the divide. Um, and sorry for the pun, but I know this divides um, opinion. I enjoyed it. Um, it is very bleak. Um, there is some very black comedy, some dark comedy in there if you look for it. Not a massive amount, but I did find myself chuckling at a few bits, maybe in the first half of the film. Um, but it, you know, it doesn't really have any like redeeming features in that sense that it's it's nice or it has a nice outcome or anything like that. It's just very bleak, and it's probably more to how it would be um, if you were in that kind of situation. Um, I say I enjoy it, I won't mind giving it a second look when I get the chance. I know I say it's divided opinion, some people kind of thought it was okay. I don't think many people hate it as such, but I liked it. But yeah, if you get the chance, give it a go. I say I won it, so it didn't cost me anything, but maybe give it a rent and see what you think. Uh, next up, this is one that I picked up on Amazon for about 30 pence actually. Um, I'm really not sure what to expect. I had a chat with Tattoo Dom and he said it's okay and it's Otis. Um, from the cover it looks like it's going to be quite gory and bloody and everything else but I've, you know, I've looked at a couple of reviews and it, it's not so I'm not sure what to expect. Um, I'm going to try and give this a watch tonight uh, if not over the next couple of days but we shall see. Next up this was a blind buy. This was in a charity shop and I picked this up for £1 and this is Brotherhood of the Wolf and this is a three disc collector's edition I've been on Amazon um, and I can see a two disc on there, I can't see this three disc edition um, but it just looked really nice, I don't know if it is out and out horror um, but you know for a pound I thought it would be worth picking up, it has some fairly decent reviews um, on Amazon, it's got a really bizarre story to it, it's signed it, it's inspired by actual events, but it's about a beast, like a, a creature, an animal, I, you know. I really don't know. If anybody's seen this, anybody knows it, um, please in the comments let me know. Just let me know what you think, but I thought for a pound I have to pick it up for a three disc for that. So, yeah, next up, um, and I actually watched this last night. It's been a while since I'd seen it. This is The Cell. Um, I kind of remember enjoying it more than I watched, uh, than I enjoyed it last night, to be honest with you. Um, I always forget his name, the guy that plays, oh, Vincent D'Onofrio, um, I really like him as an actor, um, and as the killer in this, I think he does a really good job, but he is, for me, pretty much the redeeming character, and I don't think Jennifer Lopez does a particularly great job, um, Vince Vaughn, um, not for me in this one, but it's not a bad film, it's, it's obviously really about the visuals, I think the director, you know, going into someone's mind, just kind of went well. I can do what I want, and you know it does. He, you know some of it looks really nice, some really nice visuals in there, but don't really have that much substance to it for me personally. Um, but as I said, D'Onofrio is the kind of shining light in the film. But I do like him as an actor, so that's the sell. Not a bad watch. Uh, next up, one that turned up today, uh, Amazon. I think it was a penny buy actually. This one. 
and it's altered from the director of Blair Witch Projector. Um, yeah, I've seen a couple of people mention it and say it's a decent enough watch, so we shall see. Um, the ratings on Amazon weren't fantastic, but as a penny buy, what can you do? Uh, next one, um, I remember watching this years ago and really enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to checking this out again. Uh, it just turned up today, it's still sealed, and it's Shallow Grave. And it's the special edition. I have to say that I'm really disappointed. I do like it when they do the kind of landscape um, thing on the back. Uh, so the cover's like that and then it kind of goes landscape for the back. But as a special edition, um, it has an audio commentary with Danny Boyle. And then a BBC documentary and that's it. There's basically two special features on it as a special edition. So it is a bit of a rip off from film 4 to be honest. Really, really quick because this video's going on already. Um, I am thinking, I don't know how I'm going to do it or how I'm going to find the time to do it. Uh, Channel 4 or Film 4 are doing this thing um, called Scene Stealers. Um, you can go online, I'll put the link to it below. And they're basically asking people to pick from a selection of films that Film 4 have been involved in and to take a two minute segment from the film and recreate it in any way you want, whether it's you know scene for scene, shot for shot, or we want to do an animated version or whatever it is, or a different style. Um, and they just want anybody getting involved, so definitely take a look at that if you're thinking of you know, putting a little short together or something, maybe that's a good way to do it. Um, and I was considering, Shallow Grave was one of the films on that list, so I was considering trying to do something with this. So I wanted to pick it up anyway, so I thought I'd definitely go for it, pick it up, give it a watch, and see whether or not I can do something uh, with that for Scene Stealers. Um, next up, this is one I picked up a while ago and I forgot to show it, and it's called The Hazing. Uh, this is a Region 1 version of the film, I'm pretty sure you can't get the region in region 2, I don't know if it's got a region 2 release, um, don't know a massive amount about it, um, I bought it from my guy in uh, London, Camden Market, um, it's a fairly recent one from what I can tell, uh, slasher type of film I'm assuming, I think, and I might be wrong, Winter King 1967, Sean mentioned this at some point in one of his videos, uh, if anybody knows it, give me a shout, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And last up, I picked this up today for three quid, uh, probably got ripped off for that, but it's one that I've been wanting to watch for a while, and I've, a lot of people talk about it, especially in the more extreme kind of films, and it's Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Now, this is the UK Region 2, and it comes with some extras and stuff, but it does say the full uncut version. Now, the runtime on this one is 85 minutes, approx approximately 85 minutes, and I say it's the Region 2 uh, optimum releasing. Is this really uncut? I know that it says the full uncut version, but I'm not sure if it is or not. If anybody does know um, about releases of this film, please let me know. Link will be below. I just buy it at a local shop for three quid. Um, so I'm just, yeah, just hoping it is the full uncut version. But there you go, that's it. That's the full update. So we've got Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, The Hazing, Shallow Grave, Altered, The Cell. 3D Special Edition of Brotherhood of the Wolf, we've got Otis, The Divide, and my hand isn't that big, uh, Tale of Two Sisters, I'm going to drop them, and What Lies Beneath, so, you know, not a bad little stack of films, but hopefully now that I'm working I'm going to be able to pick up some better stuff, and more of it. Thank you very much for watching, please again go check out Jason um, below, his link's going to be below, please go and check out the film for Sing Stealers, it's really interesting, I don't know if, you know, there might be a few people want to get involved in that. Um, that's it, hopefully it won't be so long before my next video, I'm not sure if it'll be another update or a collection overview or if someone comes up with a challenge or I'm even thinking of maybe doing a contest soon so I might do something about that but that's it for now, um, this has been Chris, the Horror Sickness, thank you very much for watching, please check out all the links and take it easy everybody.